Hi, this is Mark at ShoestringNetworks.com. Today I have a quick demo for you showing you a really crafty way to find and get rid of malware on your system. I'll be demoing this on a Windows 7 virtual machine. The tool I'm using and talking about is Process Explorer, which you see on the screen here now. This is part of a fantastic tool set called SysInternals.com that Mark, uh, Mark Rusinovich created uh, many years ago. In fact, it was probably over a decade ago that Microsoft actually bought SysInternals and Mark, and he's still part of the staff there at Microsoft and keeping up uh, these wonderful tools. And man, I tell you, we're really thankful for that. Once it's downloaded, uh, here it is on my desktop. I'm going to uh, run it as administrator. Allow it to start up. Once it starts up, I'll see every process or um, service that is running on my machine at the time. Get a lot of information just by hovering over it. It tell me uh, just a tremendous amount of information there, but I've got a lot of columns that tells me different things also. Now, one of the things that's really cool, really neat uh, that we're looking at today is that you can take every process that's within the system here, uh, showing up within uh, Process Explorer, running on this system, and throw it against virus total and use virus total to tell you whether these processes are legit or not. So I'm going to turn this on. The first time you turn it on, you'll get a dialog, an agreement dialog from virus total. You'll only have to do that once. I'll turn it on. Notice that under my column virus total, everything has been submitted. And within just a few seconds, I'll get a return back that will tell me if any of these processes or services are questionable or anything about it. Everything's coming back right now clean. If it's a zero, it's clean. Nothing questionable. It tells you the number of uh, engines that it tested it against at virus total. So it's just a very handy way to get a quick bird's eye view of all the processes that are running, uh, whether they're legit or not. Now, I'm going to start a... Uh, process that I know isn't legit, exec binder, and I'll start it up, give it just a second to run. Notice that on uh, Process Explorer, it is already finding it, sending the hash out, and notice that it's coming back. Instead of a zero, it's got a 43. So 43 of the 56 engines that checked out uh, this particular process says something's wrong with it. Well, I already have taken that file and submitted it to VirusTotal, exe binder dot, uh, exe, and notice that all of the well-known name out there that check for malware, all those engines, are telling me that it's some kind of Trojan. Now I get down towards the bottom, and these last few don't tell me anything, so you know what I learned from that is these guys I'm never going to depend on or use since they didn't pick this up. So going back to uh, Process Explorer, it's told me that uh, this guy is suspect and it sent it to antivirus, I mean to a virus total and even tells me what kind of Trojan it is. So very easily, all I've got to do is right click and kill the process right now. I can restart if I wanted to. I can suspend the process. I can create a dump if I want to do some forensics on this. Uh, but what I'm going to do, and obviously it's probably what you would, you would do, is just kill the process. And let's just completely get rid of it and see what happens. So I've killed the process. It's telling me it's getting ready to kill it and anything that's tied to the process is gone. I'm not seeing anything showing up. Everything's still showing clean. I'm going to go ahead and stop Process Explorer for a second and then come back into it, give it an opportunity to start back up. And let's make sure it's reset, resubmitting hashes of everything and make sure that uh, that questionable file is, is not showing up any longer. There's our returns. Still looks like everything's clean, so that particular file that was bad, uh, we killed the process, it didn't start back. Now, one of the things you want to do still is run your antivirus or your anti-malware and make sure things are fine. And uh, you might keep an eye on Process Explorer for a while and make sure that this thing doesn't start back up uh, after a few minutes. That's just a quick, easy way to uh, find if you've got a problem, what that problem is, and, and hopefully get rid of it. Hope you found that useful. For more information or any questions you might have, 
why don't you run over to shoestringnetworks.com uh, and there you'll also find that we do a weekly podcast, a tech tip podcast that you'll probably find interesting and you can come there and get a new uh, podcast every week. We hope you'll do that. And on a resources page, uh, down at the bottom of that page, here are four items that we find that many people uh, are very interested in and download a lot. The top 20 malware removal tools. Uh, this particular one uh, walks you through creating a bootable USB malware toolkit, very handy. And then these last two here are just great um, items, best practices to do to secure your iPhone or Android phone. Again, thanks for dropping in. If you ever need anything, you can shoot an email to helpme at shoestringnetworks.com, and we'll be sure and get back to you. Thanks for stopping by.